Hey there, my name is Ni Hamoda. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating a very, very awesome design by one of my friends purchased. This is the design we're going to be replicating. It looks very, very awesome. All right. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. But before we do that, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's kick it going. So we're going to go and create a new um, canvas. Now this design right here, if you want to get the exact size, just the way it is, all you have to do is to come over here, okay, click this guy here, you can see it, click that place over there, once you click it, then I want you to click from gallery, I mean this guy here, alright, once you click it, go and import the design, alright, this is the design right here, okay, it will give you the exact size just the way it is now then you can go over here again then click color and just enable the color to be all right so let's say white or black okay now having known that you want to bring in the element that will be used for the design so because this is a very um basic design i'm going to be using just any um photograph so this is it i want to try this background so i'll just click it like this all right cool okay so i'm gonna bring in this element here it's a 3d wooden frame right a 3d wooden frame that was how i was able to download it all right if you notice very well it is not straight from the original design so let's bring the original design if you notice from the original design you will see that it is not looking straight do it like this send it to the back you'll see that it's not looking straight send this guy to the back i using it it's not looking straight so in order to do it so that it becomes um kind of slant you can do it like this okay are you seeing that now you just slant it a little and then it will be able to fit in exactly the way you see it in the original design all right so notice again that the color the it differs that color is looking brownish. This one is really dark. So you can just come over here and find the color. And this guy would help you. Um, okay. So just use the color filters to adjust it. It's somewhere here. Sorry, yeah. Right then you can come over to contrast and just increase it a little okay take this up okay so we can leave this like this okay So can leave this like this just exactly the way it is right here so um let's reduce this guy all right let's bring in an image that we'll be using so first and foremost i'm bringing the element that i'll be using for the design so i'm bringing this guy here Stroll down, stroll down. Um, we we'll use any of this image here, but let's leave that first. All right. We'll be using this guy, so I'm just gonna. I did. Right. What's this session for this? Mm -hmm. Right. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use one of these. 
this this one again all right okay so i'm just gonna make it white i can even cut this guy out Okay. I'm, I'm gonna bring in the image images photo room so I'll look for any model to use let me use all right let's use So let's make use of this. So just drag it, okay? Still reduce it a little. All right, then you can lock it, then bring it to the front. This is gonna be yeah. All right, so. Um, look very well you will see that there's a church name and there's a logo okay so the name of the church so I'm just gonna come here right here I'm gonna write um, <laughs> Peter Lam Ministry International Just go over there and put something there. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. So now I want the background to be a little bit dark. So I'm just gonna come here and then I would do this. Right, so I'm seeing here uh, understanding your prophetic image. Understanding your prophetic image. use of this guy all right it's like this prophetic Right, it's a long font, so we'll go over here and we'll choose B bands and make it bold. Right, so we'll copy this image. Okay. We 
reduce this a little bit okay so if you notice there is this um, dot here so click here where is it and bring it here to the front let the color be black okay let's do this cut it like this and bring it here So we can bring this to the front and bring this other guy to the front. So you see that now. So you can just centralize this. Okay. It's going to centralize that and then have the other information that you have there. So to easily get it, you just do this. Okay. Take this down a little. Take this down a little. All right, so let's just go quickly copy from here to save our time. So I'm going to copy this. Click on lens, then click on text, then click on whatever you want to copy. So I'm going to click on uh, text, select. Okay, I'm going to select this portion here and copy. So we'll go over to Pixel Lab. Just paste it here. Save, paste. All right, it's so just gonna be there like that. Okay. Um, right here. Seven a.m. Just do it like this. Okay. 7 a.m. Okay, so pick the color here. Can even pick this one here. Okay. Um, right here. You just write this Sunday. And let it be black. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you get more tutorials like this. Okay, this Sunday today. So there's gonna be an other inscriptions there. Just come here, copy this, click on lens, click on text, click on okay oh click on experience a wonderful time in god's presence all right so let me just copy this down you can bring this here just put it right there paste adjust it Centralize it, increase it a little more. Okay, so you can be there. So come here. Express a wonderful time in God's presence. Experience. Okay. Let it be white. Alright, so the other information is going to be at the bottom. They were all done. So the bottom information right there. So I'm going to do this. So the church name. 
so for for this one now this church name is this guy here all right okay so what we we'll do now is there are other stuff there let's see this so facebook is f for social media circles so go to look for the font this guy all this this okay then we have others here so let's say youtube twitter and um just that so i can come here and the first theory is going to be this so you can go ahead and download the right font just go and download the logo social media icons this is just for practice so with that you're done with the design you can also work on the image a little because you notice that there's so much orange there so just work on it a little so that it blends with your background okay so let's do something here we're rotating this guy no not this lock i'm rotating these guys all right you see that now so i'll do that for this also but you notice that the e is not coming out very well so you come here and you pad this out okay the same thing with this you pad it out okay so you can have it properly placed the same thing with this guy too So having done that, you can go ahead and save your design, right? You can go ahead and save your design. Your logo will definitely be here. Okay, so with this, we've come to the end of today's tutorial. Don't forget to hit the like button and then share it. And tell me where you are watching from, okay? Very cool, right? Just go ahead and save your project. with whatever you want to save it with and then you're good to go my name is Niamuda subscribe for this channel to this channel for more tutorials like this tomorrow there's going to be another tutorial like this I'll see you